Hello, welcome to my channel Kannan Perumal Subbaya. If you not subscribed my channel so far, request to subscribe before going to see the video. Complex Power Distribution Matrix By applying the Innovated Power Division Theorem in the International Journal of Engineering Science and Computing, October 2018. The Power Division Theorem states that if there are n source current feeding power to the m load through a node. The source currents are I1 to In. The load currents are IK1 to IKM as shown in the display. The same n source currents are feeding power to the m loads through a network instead of a node. As per the theorem, whether through a node or through a network, the share of ith source to the jth load Sij is the same. Mathematically, the share of ith source to the jth load Sij is equal to jth load power Soj multiplied with the ratio of ith source current Ii to the total of source currents. Sigma of I1 to N I I as shown in the equation. Standard IEEE 5 bus system is considered. Table A 1.1 1 .1 is the bus data. The table A 1.2 is providing line data. All are based on 100 MVA. The system is displayed with all data. There are 7 lines. The line data also marked two generator buses and three load buses. The assumed initial voltages are shown in the table 1.1. Line charging susceptances are marked in the each bus. The values are calculated from the susceptance given in the table 1.2. Particular operating point of the system is displayed. Bus 1 is considered as slack bus. Other bus voltages are marked. The slack bus power is also shown in the display which is calculated from the load flow solution. In order to calculate the elements of complex power distribution matrix, we need only generator currents I1 and I2 are displayed. The values are calculated from load flow. The total load current also shown in the display. Calculation of elements of complex power distribution matrix. Rows are generator buses. Columns are the load buses. The power from first generator to the first load at bus number 3. The power from first generator to the second load at bus number 4. The power from generator 1 to the load 3 at bus number 5. The power from second generator to the first load at bus number 3. The power from second generator to the second load at bus number 4. The power from second generator to the load 3 at bus number 5. All are displayed. Adding columns in the complex power distribution matrix gives the load at each bus as shown in the display. Adding row elements gives the sharing of each generator in the total system load as shown in the display. Network loss is equal to total generation minus total load. The calculation is shown in the display. The loss is displayed in red color. The network loss is verified by adding all line losses and the effect of line charging capacitances at all buses as shown in the display. The total loss in all the line is added with the effect of capacitance that gives the a network loss. The loss is also displayed in red color. We get the same network loss. Again, the network loss is verified with the contribution of generator 1 to network loss and generator 2 to network class. The values are calculated from the total generator bus minus the contribution of each generator to the total system load as shown in the display.
when the contribution of generator 1 to network class is added with the contribution of generator 2 to network class we will get the total network class the loss is also shown in the display in red color here also we get the same value so in all the three cases we are getting same network classes as a conclusive remarks the power division theorem gives the correct result when we are going to establish the complex power distribution matrix of a power system at a particular operating point which will give the sharing of each generator to each load and also the contribution of each generator to the network classes this theorem is a fundamental theorem should be included in the syllabus of undergraduate and postgraduate students this video is dedicated to the respected professor dr tk mahendra babu who taught the subject in electronics thank you